Hello and welcome to the channel GeoStars. Today's topic is map, classification of map and its type. We all know that map is a very important tool for geographer as it helps to understand geographical aspect and helps the people to understand complex issues at a glance. We will first look as to what is globe. A globe is a three-dimensional representation of earth. It represents the spherical shape of earth's miniature and helps to understand correct shape, size, location of continent, ocean and the countries. It is said that the earliest globe was made by crates in Greece in the year 150 BC. Globe is very accurate and presents an accurate shape, but still it has some limitation. It represents only a small part of earth and it is very big to carry, so difficult to handle and do not show detailed information on its surface. On the contrary, map, map are two dimensional representation. It is drawn to represent the earth as a whole or part of it on a piece of paper. The word map is derived from the Latin word mapo, which means napkin or a cover cloth. Earlier map were drawn on cloth napkin or on the tree leaves. And the science of making or drawing map is called cartography. The word kato is derived from the Greek word kate, which means leaf or sheet of paper or map. Whereas, graphy is derived from the Greek word graphian, which means write or drawing. So, the science of making or drawing a map is called cartography. It is said that the first map was made by Ptolemy in 150 AD. During medieval times, maps were dominated by religious view, so Jerusalem was made at the center of the map. The first whole world appeared in the early 16th century when the voyages began during Columbus and others to the New World. In 1569, Mercator created a navigational map where all straight lines were the true bearings. The amount of information to be represented on the map depends on four aspects. First is the scale, map projection, convectional sign and the last skill of the cartographer. Now there are six basic elements of a map on which a map depends. First is the title. The title is a subject or heading of the map which makes the clarity of the map. Second is the scale. It denotes relationship between map distance and actual ground distance. There are three types of scale. First is the verbal scale like 1 cm shows 1 km. Second graphical scale when scale is shown graphically. And third is representative fraction, for example, 1 is to 50,000. Then direction. A map is always allowed with north towards the top. There are three types of north. First is the true north, which is the direction towards north pole. Then magnetic north, direction where the magnetic needle points. And third is the grid north, the direction of vertical grid lines called easting as shown in the projection also. Then grid system. Grid is formed by latitude and longitudinal lines. They are imaginary vertical and horizontal lines which are collectively known as grid. Next important element is convectional signs. These are the symbols used to represent object. And the last element is legend or key. It explains the meaning of the symbol used in a map which provides essential information for the map reader. Map are of different types. Each map is unique on its design, content and construction. Map can be classified on different bases. The first basis is on the basis of scale. Second is on the basis of functional aspect and third is on the basis of subject matter. First, we will discuss 
the classification on the basis of scale which is divided into two groups small scale map and large scale map. First we will see the small scale map. The small scale map represents very large area with less detail on a small sheet of paper. It represents general picture of the area. The example of it is a wall map and atlas map. A wall map they are drawn boldly so that they can be seen or visible from a distance. It is used in classroom office purpose or cater large audience. They show very large area like a word as a whole. Next is the atlas. It is also a small scale map which is the collection of map is called atlas. It is drawn on a very small scale. They give highly generalized picture of natural and cultural aspect like physical region, climatic region, etc. They are used by teaching students in classroom as well as individual study also. The National Atlas and Thematic Mapping Organization that is NATMO is well known important organization in our country to publish all kinds of map. Next is the large scale map. It shows a very small area of the earth on a large size of paper, cloth, plastic sheet with greater details. The layout map of the villages and guide map of cities are large scale map. For example, cadastral map and topo sheet. Here you can see the cadastral map. They are drawn on large scale, shows boundaries of every field and plot of land in a particular area. These maps are used and prepared by local governments for administrative purpose for collection of taxes, revenues, for the identification of property in legal documents. Cadastral term was derived from the French word cadastre which means register of a territorial property. They are drawn on very large scale. Cadastral map are revenue map, settlement map, village map and city plan maps too. Next is the topographical map. They are prepared on large scale. They are based on precise survey conducted by the Survey of India Dehradun. They show general surface features in detail. They can be both natural or cultural. The Survey of India prepares the topographical map and they are also known as topo sheet. For all parts of the country on the scale like 1 is to 50,000, 1 is to 2 lakh 50,000 and 1 is to 10 lakh. These maps are also known as international maps. Now, the classification on the basis of function. It can be divided into two group, physical maps and cultural map. And the classification on the basis of subject matter can also be divided into two groups, physical and cultural or regional or thematic map. Basically, thematic maps are map specially designed to show particular theme connected with specific geographic area or a particular feature of an area like vegetation, climate, population density. Basically, all types of cultural map, most of the atlas map, industrial, agriculture, military, linguistic map, all fall in the thematic map category. Now first we will discuss about physical map. A physical map provides details about natural feature of an area or a country. The first physical map is relief map or orographic map. They show surface features like mountain, plain, plateau, drainage pattern etc. Second is the geological map. It is again a physical map which shows distribution of various rocks. Third, climatic map. It shows average condition of temperature pressure, wind and precipitation of the world or a part of it over a long period of time. Remember, climatic map shows 
a long period of time. Next is the weather map. The weather map also denotes average condition of temperature, pressure, wind and precipitation over a short period of time which may range for a day to a season. This is the basic difference between a climatic map and a weather map. A climatic map shows a longer period of time whereas weather map shows a short period of time. Atmospheric conditions. Next is the soil map. It shows various types of soil covering the area. Then vegetation map shows distribution of natural vegetation in an area. And the last one is the bathymetric map which is also a physical map. This type of map depicts the depth of sea beds and ocean. Now we will quickly have a look on the cultural maps or the thematic map. The cultural map shows man-made features or human aspect. The first one is the political map which shows national international boundaries between different countries and states. Next, population map shows the distribution and density of the map. Then comes the economic map. It indicates commercial production, trade, import and export. Historical map shows places of historical interest and importance of an area. Then ethnographic map. It is also a cultural map which deals with the distribution of races on an area. Then linguistic map shows different distribution of languages in different areas. Agricultural map shows production and yield of crop per hectare in an area. Industrial map are maps depicting industrial production in a place or an area. Then communicational map, it is again a cultural map which deals with transport system of air navigation, railways and roadways. Then comes the military map which is used by defense services for strategic point, routes of movement, battle plans etc. Beside this, there are distributional maps also. They show distribution of natural features temperature, rainfall, crops, mineral, population, etc. They are basically divided into two parts, qualitative and quantitative maps. The qualitative map tells the quality only about any area, whereas quantitative maps tell about the quantity that is the number like population, rainfall, temperature, etc. In this category lies the first chorochromatic map. It is also known as color map which is the qualitative map. It defines the qualitative area shown through the colors or the shades. Like here we can see the physical map of India which is shown by different colors. Next is the choroschematic map. It is also a qualitative map which shows the distribution where different objects or phenomena is shown through the symbols or letters. Here in this map you can see Rajasthan mineral map which are shown by different symbols and so they are known as choroschematic map. Then comes the dot map. Dot map is a quantitative map. In a dot map, dot symbols are used to represent the amount of data. Like here you can see that population is shown through the dot. Again there is a example of dot map. It is showing Amravati district. Distribution of population is being shown by different types of dot. Each dot represents different types of population. Next is the isoplate map. Isoplate word is derived from the Greek word where isos means same and plerathon means measure. So isoplate map shows lines joining places of equal value. It is a quantitative distributional map which represents pressure, 
by isobar lines, temperature isotherm, and rainfall isohyde. In the present map, you can see the lines joining equal temperature lines. So, this is a isotherm map. Next is the choroplet map. It is also a quantitative distributional map where distribution of density is shown through various shades which is demonstrated as low, medium, high etc. like population density, sex ratio, literacy level etc. Here in the map you can see in the world map and also in the India map population density is shown by the choroplet map. With this we come to the end of today's topic. If you have any queries regarding the present topic, feel free to ask in the comment box. Kamiyabi ka ek usool hai, wo baate bhool jaiye jo fizool hai. Thanks for watching to encourage and spread light. Do like, share and comment and subscribe. Do not forget to press bell button for latest update and notification. Thank you so much.